Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our daily Oracle and Tarot card reading. And today's reading will be for Tuesday, March the 22nd. And all week long, we're using the Fairy Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue, a very gorgeous, gorgeous deck of cards. Uh, and let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And we have the Six of Spring. How beautiful is that? And we have the Ten of Winter. Gorgeous. And lastly, we have a repeat card. Okay, the Eight of Winter. You remember her. We just had her. Message needs to be emphasized. So the Six of Spring. Beautiful, beautiful unicorn. If you could see the detail of these cards, the, every one of them is absolutely exquisite. And this card, the Six of Spring, reads, Wonderful news is on its way. Smart choices that bring rewards, success, and public recognition. So yesterday, we had that card saying that you would be in the spotlight. And now here we are, success again. We have the chariot card, okay, which is the card of victory. This card's telling us that success is on its way. So whatever it is that you are going through right now, again, keep up the dedication, keep up the discipline, keep up the hard work. Things are going in a positive direction. The chariot yesterday, which is a sign of victory, this card here, which is a sign of success and wonderful news being on its way, public recognition. Beautiful, beautiful card. Let's see how the other ones line up. And we have the Ten of Winter. Okay, and the Ten of Winter is a beautiful fairy, and they're on the mountainside, and there's beautiful pine trees. I, I love pine trees. My home is surrounded by them, and the snow... Look at the snow on these trees. And there's sun shining down from the sky, rays of sunlight. And the card reads, the resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off your shoulders, the end of an addiction or a codependency. Again, success, positive changes. And when we think of addiction, it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, drugs or alcohol. It could be an addiction to maybe shopping, which is causing problems with your finances. It could be an addiction to a person who might not be the best thing uh, for you. Um, codependency. Again, it, it could be people, places, or things. It doesn't necessarily need to be, you know, alcohol or drugs. Some people are addicted to food, shopping, some people are addicted to being in love, constantly, you know, having different lovers. Um, this card here is telling you that a weight is going to be lifted off of your shoulders. So whatever it is that's dragging you down, whatever you've become dependent on, you're doing the hard work. You will get through it. All of these cards so far are, are just pointing in the direction of positive change and success. And then, last card, the Eight of Winter. Remember her yesterday? Well, the Eight of Winter is telling me that someone out there still isn't believing in themselves. And they're not having the confidence that they should. They're lacking self-confidence. And when you have that doubt or fear mentality, things won't change. I'm not saying to be arrogant and think that you're the best. But I'm saying, give yourself credit. You're here watching this video. You do want to make improvements in your life. You do want some type of spiritual guidance. That's a perfect step in the right direction to improve things. It doesn't happen overnight to become confident. It doesn't happen overnight to put yourself out there and take chances. But this card's telling me is you can't lack the confidence that you need. And it's saying, you know, that's what's going to keep you from getting what you want. And again, the negative thoughts that we tell ourselves, 
they're just destructive. They're just self-sabotaging. If you believe that something is too difficult or you believe that something can't possibly happen to you that's good, then that's exactly what you're going to get. And again, it's not a matter of just positive thoughts. You know how I feel about that. It's positive thoughts with positive action backing them up. You could do this. Whatever it is that you're wanting to change in your world, whatever it is you want to improve, this card's telling you, believe. Believe that you can and you will. And if you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.